Hallo, wie geht's? So, today we're going to talk about using wenn in German. So, wenn means if or when. And we use wenn if we want to talk about what happens in certain situations or we can use it to talk about hopes and dreams and desires. But today we're just going to focus on talking about what we do in certain situations. So here's an example sentence. Wenn es kalt ist, trage ich eine Mütze. So if or when it's cold, I wear a hat. So there are two parts to a then sentence. The first part is the situation. So then es kalt ist, so if or when it's cold. And the second half is what happens in that situation. So trage ich eine Mütze, I wear a hat. So then is like weil because it kicks the verb to the end of the sentence or the clause. So the verb ist, so wenn es kalt ist, so ist goes to the end. And it's very important, don't forget the al. We're going to see why. So we know that wenn sends the verb to the end, so wenn es kalt ist, then we need a comma, and then we need another verb. So wenn es kalt ist, verb, comma, trage, is another verb, trage ich eine Mütze. So as you can see, ist is a verb, comma, and then trage is another verb. So we've got verb, comma, verb, or for short, V, comma, V, which if you look at it, looks almost exactly like an L. So the L is how you can remember the word order for a then sentence. And you can actually swap both halves of the sentence around. So you could say, Ich trage eine Mütze, wenn es kalt ist. So, as you can see, the situation, wenn es kalt ist, goes into the second half, and ich trage eine Mütze is at the beginning. So, ich trage eine Mütze, wenn es kalt ist, and the sentence means exactly the same. But in that case, the verb, comma, verb rule doesn't apply. Okay? Alles klar? Super. Dann auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.